Speaking of tie-ups, let's get more on the cash infusion coming from Primus Financial Holdings, uh, buying a 70% stake in a municipal bond broker, Chap Delane. And we're talking to Bob Morris, a co-founder of Primus Financial Holdings, on the program this morning. Let's talk about this. Uh, a 70% stake in Chap Delane. It's interesting times for muni bonds, isn't it, considering we have so many stakes, including New York recently, the New York governor saying we're running out of money. Well, Chapter Lane does two things, Susan. It, it's a municipal bond uh, inner dealer broker. It sells, uh, sells securities between brokers. And it also has a very big and very fast growing um, fixed income sales business to sell corporate bonds, high yield bonds, bank loans, um, distressed securities, and, and things like that. We think that Chapter Lane is a perfect foundation to establish a brokerage business. The U.S. fixed income business is a very big, very deep, market with, with enormous revenues. Some estimates range up to about $200 billion of, of revenues every year in the U.S. fixed income business. Chapter Lane's been around for 46 years or so. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of loose market share, we think, with the demise of, of Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers and the, the merger between Bank of America and, and Merrill Lynch, there's a lot of market share that's up for grabs. What and about the muni's bond space in particular, Bob? As I mentioned, it seems like a lot of states uh, are in deficit. There are some problems with budgets in California. New York might be running out of cash. Is the muni bond space really where you want to be right now? Well, when, when a state is in deficit, what do they do? They sell bonds. And, uh, and, and, and so the uh, fiscal woes of, of the U.S. government and, and some states should mean that there's more supply of bonds that are coming to market. And when there's more supply, that means there's volatility. That means there's the, a lot of trading. So Chapter Lane, which is one of the leaders in the, in a, in the inner dealer broker space of municipal bonds, mm -hmm. is, uh, is really well positioned to take advantage of, of, of some of that increased supply. Now, what about financials as a whole in the U.S.? I mean, we've seen them underperform in the first quarter, but they've come back a lot in terms of their share price performance over the past 12 months. Do you feel that, uh, you know, the financial space has gotten their bearings back after the financial crisis? I think that the, the yield curve, shaped as it is, is, is good for financials. It seems like there's more activity. You were just talking about M&A activity. There's, 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 there's equity raising activity. There's fixed income activity, uh, both in the sales and trading aspect of the business as well as in new issuance. And, uh, and, and so from the broker-dealer perspective, I think that there's a, a lot of uh, potential for the for the sector going forward, yes. Yeah, now Primus uh, raised about $1.2 billion, I think, in April of last year to uh, make these investments. And you were talking about investing in a broker-dealer either in the U.S. or the U.K., I think, back uh, in the month of December. So what's the focus next? Uh, other assets you said back then that you were looking at, possibly an asset manager and also a fund that buys distressed uh, real estate assets in the U.S.? We have, we, we have four pillars of, of our strategy. One is in insurance and... Uh, we feel great about the, the pending Nanshan acquisition. Second is in brokerage, and we think that Chapter Lane represents a, a terrific foundation for that business. We do want to globalize that business. We want to expand into Europe. We want to expand into Asia. We want to broaden the product suite that Chapter Lane offers. Uh, asset management, we've dipped our toe in the water. We have a distressed real estate fund in the U.S. called the Rock Fund, and we think that offers some unique investment opportunities. We're in the process of capital raising for that now. Mm -hmm. And then the last pillar is banking. Mm -hmm. And uh, banking, we're still working on. Uh, we've uh, done a lot of analysis. There certainly are opportunities in banking, both in Asia as well as in the U.S. We think that the financial sector in general, particularly in Asia, is one that will continue to grow at strong double-digit rates over the next few years. And, and we think that with our management team and with the management teams of, of some of the companies that we've talk to and, and those that we've acquired were in good position to help provide good services, good products to, uh, to customers. Okay, let me pick up on uh, your purchase of uh, AIG's Taiwan unit. You're still waiting for regulatory approval for, to pick up uh, Nanshan. I think you have a 20% stake with China Strategic. And uh, back in, at the end of last year, there was some controversy. I mean, some people said that uh, they wouldn't give you this uh, purchase. They wouldn't allow it to go through because of the backing of the Chinese. It was a more of a Chinese-driven acquisition. So when do you expect the approval to go through for this year? Well, we've submitted all of our uh, documents to the regulators. Regulators in Taiwan are doing a thorough job, which they, they uh, would always do in order to, um, in order mm -hmm. to assess that, uh, that documentation. We, we think we comply fully to the letter and spirit of the law with uh, 
uh, with all the regulations around and investment in expected in Nanjing. date though? Do you have an expected it's, date? You know, it's hard for us to say what the expected date is. Generally speaking, regulatory reviews take four to six to eight months. We're four to five months into the process, so we're sort of in the middle of the process. Regulators are uh, are working hard, I presume, at this point. Mm -hmm. I think that our proposal is very good. It's very good for the company. It's good for the employees, for the management, for the uh, for the agents. I think it shows a lot of confidence in Taiwan. You know, we we would represent a very significant foreign investment into Taiwan. Okay. And I think that uh, I think that given what our plans for Nanshan are, if we receive regulatory approval, we hope to take that company and make it. The foundation of a pan Asian insurance company, which would be good for the Taiwanese financial services sector. Okay, Bob, thank you so much for dropping by on this thank Friday you. morning. Have a good weekend. That's Bob Morse, the co founder of Primus Financial. We're going to go to break.